new terminology for that are specific to transgender uh, folks. They're, they use the term sexual identity in the trans community to refer to someone's self-image and expression as a sexual being. Um, gender identity is the inner sense of being a core, um, or their inner sense of being male, female, or other. Um, it's really your core sense of identity around gender. Um, that's thought to be fairly intractable, although fluid in some ways. Uh, gender role is society's expectations on how an individual should act, think, feel, and define themselves as being male or female. Uh, gender expression is the way a person performs or expresses their gender. And assigned gender is the one that they were assigned at birth. It's when somebody comes out and they say it's a boy or a girl. Affirmed gender is the gender, that's what the term that we use now um, to say that a person's identity is the one that they say that it is rather than what their birth sex is, um, whatever that happens to be. Um, andro, androgyny, androgynous is a, a term that's used for somebody who presents sort of a, a mixture or a balance of feminine and masculine characteristics or neutral characteristics. Bigendered person is somebody who really embraces both masculine and feminine um, traits that are culturally defined. Um, the term being clocked or red is uh, being detected or as a person who is cross-dressed or transgender. Uh, it's often a big fear in the trans community of being seen in that way or being read. Cisgender is the term uh, for an individual who is assigned, gen assigned their gender and experiences the gender in the same way. Um, that's most everybody <laughs> who isn't transgender. Um, Cross-living is somebody who's cross-dressed full-time, um, also referred to as living 24-7, and is living in the gender you perceive yourself to be. Uh, F to M is a female to male transsexual, usually identified a person who is female-bodied at birth and who identifies as male, lives as a man or identifies as masculine. M to F is a male to female person, usually used to identify a person who is male-bodied at birth and identifies as female, lives as a woman, and identifies as feminine. Uh, gender bender, also gender blender, gender fluid, there's a lot of terms for this one. A uh, person who merges characteristics of all genders in subtle ways or intentionally flaunts merged, blurred, cultural, stereotypical gender norms for the purpose of shocking others without concern for passing. Um, sometimes because they can't, so it's easier just to flaunt it. Um, gender dysphoria is the intense, continuous discomfort resulting from an individual's belief that their um, assigned gender is inappropriate and, they, um, and also the gender roles that are expected of them are inappropriate. So the, um, this is the piece that when you're really looking at the issues that come in with somebody who's transgender who wants to, or transsexual who wants to change their, their bodies, they're usually experiencing gender dysphoria or body dysphoria around their gender. Uh, gender nonconformity is um, anybody who doesn't um, perform the gender roles that, or for their gender identity that um, the cultural norms prescribe given their sex that they were assigned at birth. Gender queer is a term which is used by some people who may not fit into the category of male or female. Um, and they sort of trans, but they, um, they may or may not label themselves as trans, um, but they definitely identify outside of the gender norms and, uh, or sexual orientation. Uh, so they, they, they kind of push the envelope around gender and sexuality. Hormone therapy is uh, also called uh, hormone replacement therapy, HRT, hormonal sex reassignment. It's the administration of hormones to affect the development of secondary sex characteristics of the opposite assigned gender. So um, this is one of the main things that's used to start the transition physically from one sex to the other. Um, a no-gendered person is somebody who does not identify with any of the culturally defined genders and doesn't like any of those labels and opts not to use any of them. Non-op is somebody who um, may identify as uh, transsexual or transgender but has chosen, and they may have taken hormones or not, but have chosen not to do any surgeries to reassign their sex. Passing is the ability of a person to be able to present themselves in the other gender from which, and to live full time um, from the one that they were assigned at birth. Pre-op is uh, somebody who is usually transsexual who has not yet received reassignment surgery. It's different in the male to female community versus the female to male community. Uh, M to F C pre-op as anything before having genital surgery. Um, 
because they see that as you're finally finished and then you're done, you've transitioned, and you're fully female at that point. Um, for F to M's, because the surgeries are so difficult and expensive um, and often don't work well, um, they opt, if they call themselves pre-op, it's usually before they've had chest surgery. Um, and so that's sort of the def difference between the two. They don't necessarily define their sex around whether they have a penis or not, or, um, or their transition as related to that. Some feel done, some don't. Real life test is a period of time required of individuals seeking gender reassignment surgery during which they must live full time expressing and presenting the gender in which they identify. It used to be an absolute requirement that you had to do it for one or two years if you were under 18 before you could get any treatment. Um, stealth uh, is the term for anybody who's transgender who lives a cross-gender life without anyone's knowledge. Um, or it's kind of like being out. <laughs> Some people have areas where they're stealth and areas where they're not. Transition is the period during which a transgender individual, usually a transsexual person, begins to live their new life in their gender. Um, it also includes a period of time of living in the real life test, which is required before gender reassignment surgery. Um, a transsexual person is a person who experiences discomfort resulting from feeling inappropriate in their body based on their assigned gender and uh, wants to adapt and actually change their body in some way, either through hormones or surgery, to be the opposite of what they were assigned at birth. Um, transphobia is a fear-based response to someone who is perceived as transgender. 